boy, that was so much fun! Bye, Doctor! Bye, Clara! See you next time! Man, what a magnificent man. There's no other adventure like it, fighting alongside the Doctor, fighting Cybermen and Daleks. But anyway, I'm back, people. Sorry I'm late. You know, time travel and all. But anyway, this is my review of the Doctor Who 50th Anniversary Day of the Doctor. And how did I see it while I was away? Quick answer. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. It's time travel. Don't make sense of it. Alon Z, everybody! Whovians of all ages, old fans and new fans, English or not, witnessed the Doctor Who 50th anniversary, the most anticipated sci-fi event in all of time and space. For those of you who have not gotten the chance to see the 50th anniversary, I apologize and I will try to keep my spoilers to a minimum. To be fair, not everything lives up to the hype that is circled around it. However, that doesn't stop this anniversary from succeeding in so many ways. First off, let's talk about our characters. This special really did a good job in keeping the balance between the three Doctors. None of them were more important than one another, or looked inferior by comparison. All three got a chance to shine and the interaction between the three is what you might have expected. A lot of laughs, some tension, and a lot of team building between the three. And at the same time being able to flesh out the War Doctor's character, played by John Hurt, not just as a matured yet scarred old man, but also having the Doctor's witty and somewhat energetic personality and giving the War Doctor a good and concise arc that he is burdened by the terrible decision that he thinks he has to make alone. And while John Hurt was not the other, or the Valiard as old school Doctor Who fans were hoping for, the War Doctor, the in between the 8th and 9th, still worked. David Tennant, the 10th Doctor, was indeed a treat as expected, still being able to rock the sand shoes even after so long out of the game, still being able to play his strengths as the somewhat calm and more reserved Doctor. And of course, Matt Smith will still be the quirky, goofy 11th Doctor, and also still being able to stretch his acting a bit as well in the special. And on the subject of Clara, played by Jenny Coleman, on the other hand, felt as if she had been reverted back to her underused companion status, which can be kind of a downer considering that she had just received a major advancement in her character in the season finale. However, this could be overlooked since the story in this special is more directed to the three doctors. Overall, she does get some points for being the supportive companion. Our Rose Tyler, played once again by Billy Piper, her appearance, however, might be a bit more controversial, especially for those who are big fans of Rose, seeing as how, in the special, the character, while she was helpful, only came off more as a MacGuffin status. The story itself was good, if not exceptional and entertaining, by setting up a situation where all three Doctors would have to meet, and by the way, very clever Stephen Moffat, and all the while still retaining the light-hearted adventure that is expected of this show, with the Doctors being as brilliant as ever and making for a wonderful team. And the climax that is so immense, so monumental, that it can bring Whovians to tears and is definitely a way to rock a 50th anniversary of Doctor Who. The climax alone gave the Doctor Who universe a great impact, reshaping the Doctor Who universe itself and also giving the chance for even more boundless opportunities in which the series could progress and not exactly changing the history of Doctor Who, but more likely 
telling the history of Doctor Who. Everything happened the way it was. All continuity is maintained just with one major twist in what we know. Oh, the feels, my fellow Whovians, the feels. The only downside to the story is that it feels a little bit wasted since most of it is devoted to the hijinks of the three doctors and not so much to the time war itself however it still gains points for you know s developing the doctors as a team and also the images that we already see of the time war is everything that we've been told overall despite its weak points though this anniversary was very entertaining exciting and with a monumental climax that does justice to the 50 years of doctor who as well as bring up so many new possibilities. Okay, final verdict. I give The Day of the Doctor five sonic screwdrivers out of five. Alright guys, please comment, please subscribe, tell me what you thought of The Day of the Doctor, and I will see you later.